Morning, church. Um, I just want to explain a little bit about why I'm doing this. Um, there's a lot of people on the internet today, and most of it is negative. Most of it is showing what I would call heresy hunters. People are looking, well, this is where this person's wrong, and this is where this person's wrong, and you should stay away from these people, and you should stay away from that people that person in that church and they're all this and that and whatever and uh, my job here on this daily devotional and my job in the church is not to be that it's not to be argumentative and having an argument about everything every day and it's not to look at our world I don't think we have to look at our world right now we know it's screwed up and that's enough we know it has to get really bad before the end. And then Jesus will come and save us. Um, so my job here is not to heresy hunt. My What I'm doing here is not have arguments. Um, Bible is clear. If you have someone who loves to argue and they have disputes about words, stay away from them. Um, they have an unhealthy affinity for these things and God says that they just bring more dissension and more division in the church that's not what I'm here for and I'm not also not here to speak on end times I'm a pan dribber in the end it'll all pan out I have my own beliefs but I think every pastor in the world and most every Christian has their own belief and 95% of them are wrong. They just are. There's a hundred books and they have a hundred different beliefs. So all of them can't be right. That's not my point. My point is that you'd be right whenever he comes or whenever you die. So um, we're not going to debate over the meaning of whatever this is in Revelations or Daniel or any of that. This is what I'm here for. I'm here to teach you about Jesus. There's a, there's a great quote um, in the book of, of um, Mark. And these people are coming up to the disciples and they say, we would see Jesus. Your opinion doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't matter. What matters is Jesus's. So we would see Jesus. That's what I want to show here is Jesus. And I want to encourage. I want to help you. I've seen this in my ministry for a long time. It's like the there's the Ethiopian eunuch, Ethiopian eunuch. And he's riding in his little caravan there. And he's reading the Bible and he just doesn't get it. And someone comes along and reveals the truth to him. And that's all I'm trying to do. And how we're going to do that, I've been sharing uh, my favorite verses and some other things. And now I'm just going to go into a book of the Bible. And so we're going to start with 1 John. And that's the book I always tell people to read first. Because if we get a good handle on that, we know that Jesus is real and that he loves us. And in the end, if we know those things, we can handle whatever happens. As long as he's real and he loves us. No matter how stupid we can be. So, that's what's coming up. All God's people said, Amen. Amen.